All right, thank you. Um, thanks everyone for coming. So yeah, uh, what we're gonna be talking about today, uh, lightning talk, so super fast, is source attestations with a project called GitSign. Uh, so a little bit about myself, my name is Billy Lynch, I'm a software engineer over at ChainGuard. Uh, I'm a maintainer for the GitSign project as well as some other supply chain security projects, Tecton Chains, and I also make contributions to the rest of SigStore and Tecton as well. Um, so source attestations. So the first thing we, need, we start need to talk about is what is an attestation? Uh, you might also hear another word called provenance. So what's the difference? So uh, the two terms here, provenance, we're really talking about sort of the who, what, where, when, why. Uh, so these are metadata about the artifact. Where did it come from? What's in it? Why is it here? Why do we care about it? Uh, and an attestation is um, the metadata itself isn't necessarily enough because that could be populated and produced by anyone. Uh, so an attestation is really trying to say, is it coming from someone that we trust? Is it from a trusted developer? Is it from our CI pipelines? Um, so really the difference between the two is provenance plus some identity uh, is, is what really makes up an attestation. And when we talk about identity, uh, usually this is where signatures come into play. Uh, and if we're talking about signatures, then we're gonna be, you know, one of the things we're gonna be talking about is SigStore. Uh, so SigStore is a project o under the OpenSSF. Um, it, uh, its goal is to make signing uh, software artifacts easy, whether this is images, git commits, uh, anything part of your sort of software supply chain, uh, we want to make that signing easy. Uh, and one of the really cool things about SigStore is it has this process, what we call keyless signing, which allows you to basically generate ephemeral keys uh, to sign objects and artifacts uh, using a certificate authority called Fulcio. Um, and to produce signatures and uh, attestations and put them into a transparency law called ReCore. Um, and what this lets you do is sort of offload the complexity of managing keys uh, to six or tooling um, so that you know, all you need to worry about is like making sure that those things are signed and not having to worry about managing GPG keys and rotation and stuff like that. So uh, one of the tools that people are sort of most familiar with just because it's been around for a little bit longer is a tool called Cosign. And Cosign is really focused on container signing. So making, signing OCI images, uh, it can also do blobs, stuff like that, very easy. So Cosign has a really nifty uh, command called Cosign Attest, where you can actually uh, attach uh, provenance data to an image and sign it to make an attestation that, um, about that image, right? So you can attach SBOMs, you can attach, hey, like, hey, we ran this check on, on this image. And you can attach it and, and um, upload it as in the same registry. Um, so you can see at the bottom here, uh, there's this .att file uh, that actually has the same uh, SHA within the tag that references the image that it's attesting to. Um, so this really nifty trick, what it lets you do is store the attestations in the same location, right? So if you have the ability to go fetch this image, you also have the ability to go fetch this attestation. Um, so that's a really, really useful tool, really, really powerful. Um, so one of the things that we were sort of thinking about for GitSign is you know we have this behavior with cosine we can add attestations to images uh, but oci images uh, are just one artifact one part of your software supply chain um, git commits are another part right uh, the source that goes into your ci the source that goes into the images that you build are another artifact that you might want to add attestations to right um, so the question is how what can we do there um, you know how can we add attestations to repositories and make that easy for users um, so as I mentioned at the beginning, uh, one of the projects I work on is called GitSign. Uh, so the original sort of goal for GitSign was to make Git commit signing easy. So traditionally you would use a GPG key or an SSH key uh, to sign your commits. Uh, but with GitSign, you can actually use the full six store keyless flow. Um, and we were thinking, hey, can we apply the same sort of principle of cosign a test uh, to GitSign? And that's what I sort of want to show off today. So uh, we have a really quick demo. I'm just gonna hop over to the GitHub repo here. So this is just a sample repo that I put together. Um, so within the GitSign uh, repository, we have, um, uh, it's right now a separate binary. We're working towards upstreaming it into the GitSign binary itself, uh, a tool called GitSign Attest, right? So it's, it's very much mirroring what Cosign Attest does. And uh, as an example here, I have a few GitHub actions that are producing attestations, some, some things that you might want to attach to your source commits, right? So this could be an SBOM. You know, what are the transitive dependencies that are part of this repo that are going into my builds? Um, I'm gonna hand wave a little bit here, um, salsa source attestation. So uh, I was talking right before this, um, one of the things that if you look at the Intoto docs, the salsa docs, 
um, sort of the concept of two-party review and have all my uh, changes been uh, reviewed by, by someone I trust? Can we generate attestations for that and, and add that to the repository? Um, things like scorecards, static analysis, um, and you can extend this even further, right? Fuzzing, have CI tests ran against this? What were the results of those CI tests? Uh, these are all things that you might want to attach to these commits and put in a discoverable location so that other tooling knows how to find it and then can take advantage of it. So as an example here, here's the, the SBOM tool um, that ran. Uh, so we're just using the, the Kubernetes BOM tool. Um, so it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. We're just checking out the code, installing the BOM tool, installing git sign a test. Uh, we're generating the SBOM, and then all we're doing here is um, adding this attestation, making an attestation associated commit. So all we're doing here is we're running git sign a test. Uh, we're giving it the file. We're telling, hey, it's type SPDX. Uh, and what this is doing is it's actually storing the attestation in a special ref space within the repository itself. Right, so just like branches and tags, uh, we can actually push and pull these custom refs. If you're familiar with Git notes, this actually works in a very, very similar mechanism. Uh, but this is sort of a different carved out space uh, where you know, our goal is to really make this a space for, uh, to put attestations and, and to put attestation data. And so what we can do with this is just push the repository. And if we cut over to the repo here, um, we just have you know, a simple repo. Um, we can actually go fetch the attestations. This isn't actually going to do anything because I already have it cloned locally. Uh, we can do full git things with it. So we can actually check out uh, refs attestations commits. And so this is going to dump us into a folder that looks pretty gnarly, uh, but it's actually just a structured um, sort of format for, hey, here are all the commit shaws that we have attestations for. So if we do... Uh, if we just get the commit SHA for whatever that means, so we have this A4A. Uh, so if you CD into A4A, uh, here's where we see all the provenance data and all the attestations, right? So each one of these files, uh, there, there's sort of a pair here. Um, it's, it's storing what is the provenance data that, that we added. Uh, so in the case of the SBOM, um, this is just an SPDX SBOM. Uh, and then the corresponding signature um, is the signed data of that um, SBOM that we produced um, using the six store keyless flow. So this looks pretty gnarly because it's a base 64 blob of the, the provenance data that we had before. Uh, and we can do this for, for the other things as well. So like for the, the review thing, um, here, let me just pipe this into JQ so it's a little nicer to see. Um, so for this, just for the demo, I just sort of spat out the pull request data. So for this pull request, you know, I, I reviewed it, I approved it, and we can actually store this data in, in the Git repository itself only using Git protocol. So you don't need to, um, you can do this in sort of a Git repo agnostic way. So it doesn't really matter if it's GitHub, GitLab, anything like that. Um, and then the other thing is, so here's a nifty uh, UI that we use for just inspecting record log entries. So this corresponds to the SBOM that I produced before. Um, so you can see it was issued by SIGSTOR, it's a short-lived CERT. Um, I ran this three days ago. And what's really cool about this is because the CERT was issued to the OIDC identity of my, CI, uh, my GitHub Actions CI, um, you know, we can use the certificate and, and this attestation to say, hey, no, this came from my CI, it came from like a known runner. Um, it wasn't just a random developer that sort of produced this attestation, uploaded it to the repo, th things like that. Um, so that's sort of the value that like SIGSTOR can add to, to a process like this. So um, this is a lightning talk, so we unfortunately don't have that much time to go into the specifics. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to show this off. It's things that we're working on. It's things that we're actively thinking about. Um, you know, the things that are on our mind is source attestation data. Um, like I mentioned before, right, it's another part, it's another piece of the software supply chain. Uh, we want to have attestations. So things that I would like to hear from everyone, from everyone, if you want to grab me during lunch or something, is like, what kind of data would you like to see in attestations? Um, you know, obviously, the, uh, I think there's a lot of value in having this data present next to the commit. Um, yeah, so we, we want to see how we can grow this. I, I'm definitely interested in the, like, the Intoto salsa spec for, like, the two-part review, stuff like that. Um, but, yeah, I think it would be really interesting to see how we can apply this for, for other things. Um, yeah. So uh, thank you. That's all I have. Uh, really short talk. Uh, if you're interested in GitSign, here's the link for the GitHub repo. Um, and if you want to come and chat after, more than happy to. So thank you.